back over here. Blackberry. I don't know how many of these I have now um, of this variety here. I think I got about 14. And this right here, I have to make some cuttings of it because I only have one of them. And if something were to happen to this one, you get the picture. There we go, right there. This is nice. All right, this is good here too. This is a uh, that is a uh, cherry tree. I think that's a um, I can't remember the name of it. I don't remember the name of Bing. It's a Bing. It's a Bing. And this one right here is a Georgia peach. That right there is a Hale Haven. Should have got a little bit of a different variety, but I knew I liked these these uh, two types of peaches. That right there. All right, I got to go do something real quick. Well, this is the end of this episode of the gardening show, the morning garden show, and I hope that you liked it. Uh, I'm going to show you one little quick thing that I want you to keep an eye on. It's going to be on upcoming episodes of this show. This plant here is my blackberry plant. I paid most expensive one I ever purchased was $22. It was a little tiny little thing when I got it. Sold by a very reputable company. Came here all professionally dressed, bare root. Now, I took some cutting from it this evening and put here. Now this, I think, is going to do a lot better because I'm going to tell you something. Um, you really can't see. That's some of the leaves right there. Now here's a small one with drier leaves, but it doesn't matter. The bud's on the ground. Three, it was three quarters of the way down. That's how you want to do it. You don't want it struggling. And what happened is um, a lot of these plants this time of year uh, don't do well. A lot of it due to moisture. A lot of it due to, to cold. It is still cold this time of year, but here it is the problem I was having and trust me when I tell you this people it was wood chips I didn't have them my soil was always dry I, I mean I've been around in my yard today and I've seen big night crawlers I've never seen that two inches down in the winter time usually I'd never see them but um, I'm seeing worm activity the soil is so moist and it, it, it acts different I mean this is 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 different soil and this is clay like but it's only been there two months this stuff and but it feels so soft and, and moist so I'm telling you that this this is this is the deal and I will keep wood chips in my God I'm not going I'm not going I'm not gardening the other way like I used to with all the weeding and, and dryness and constant watering and I'm done with that all right and this one here we're gonna keep our fingers crossed on this tree here most of the way down it's dead but at the bottom it's got life in it. I did a little scratch test this morning and it's pretty green, pretty green, which means the top died because of the stress of whoever had it before me. They didn't take care of it properly. When I got it, I put it in good soil and fed it and everything. So let's see what happens this spring. All right, later, this is the Morning Gardener Show. It's the Morning Gardener Show.